the book of Matthew chapter number 27 verse 29 is part of the story of Jesus' crucifixion we find here in this verse and when they had plaited a crown of thorns they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him saying hail king of the Jews and they spit upon him and took the reed and smote him on the head so you get the picture this was part of his method part of his maltreatment he did not deserve any of this what he got but he was king of the Jews and they decided to mock him as such they made a crown they plaited a crown of thorns put together some thorns to make a crown put that on his head and took this stick and smote him on top of the head apparently driving down these thorns underneath the skin probably up against his skull now we here in North Mississippi we have briar trees I'm standing beside such a tree myself right now. I haven't seen one of these trees in a long time. I ran across one accidentally in the woods before, and when I was clearing off this land, I found this tree and thought I would save this tree here for such a purpose as remembering what Jesus went through. I mean, take a look at this tree. Take a look at these thorns here on this tree. From what I understand, at Jesus' crucifixion, they likely had uh, thorns that were a lot longer than the ones that you've seen on this tree. From what I understand, there's thorns that were more than a, a, a thorns that were probably a few inches long. Such thorns, when driven down into Jesus' head with that reed, would have went through the skin up against the skull and likely have pierced back out of the skin at some point farther on down his face. You think, what agony! Jesus would have went through bearing such pain. The way I come across a tree by this, like this was by accident. When I was out in the woods, I had gotten something down in my boot, and I put up my hand on a tree to brace myself as I took off my boot. Found out by accident that tree had briars all over it. Well, I found this tree. This is the first one I've seen in a long time, maybe the first one since I had that happen to me in the woods. Something like these, these trees, this tree or the one I leaned my hand up against, would be a bad representation of the thorns that Jesus had piercing him. All of this should combine together, even if it were just simple, uh, relatively small thorns like this in comparison to what I understand were over in the area at Jesus' crucifixion. Even if he had a crown of thorns like this put on his head, that should make us so much appreciate what he went through for us. But really... In reality, from what we understand, it was so much worse than thorns like this. So let us always remember to thank Jesus for what he did in bearing our sins on the cross and in all the torture that he went through beforehand. All he went through was not just the cross, though that would have been bad enough. He went through this. He went through the mockery. He went through so much because he loved you and he loves me. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you, Lord, for so much, so much for all that you went through for us, Lord, as if just simply dying on the cross was not enough, as if the, just the mockery that uh, the people that you made placed on you was not enough. Lord, you went through all of this, Lord. You, be you bore our griefs and carried our sorrows. You didn't just carry our sins. You carried our pain that we feel from day to day, all of our griefs and sorrows. Lord, you went through more than just the cross. Lord, you went through your own Father, turning his back on you because... You loved us so much, and Lord, that you were the sacrifice for our sins. Lord, I pray if there's somebody that's listening to me right now that's not saved, that they'll accept this free gift of salvation, Lord, that they'll accept the sacrifice that's already been paid for their sins, and that they'll get saved, Lord. Lord, we thank you so much. Lord, may we never forget what you went through for us. And it's in your name we pray. Amen.